So if you want any for existing table if you want add any columns new columns then we have to use for the alter add okay we have to use for the alter add so alter add what is the index of alter add means alter table table name add add column you have to use the corresponding data type so like that you have to write the syntax alter table table name add column whatever the column you want to add that column name and then you have to give the corresponding data type and size so that we practiced yesterday in the yeah. so please go and mute someone please yeah you can see here we added yesterday salary column alter table table name add salary and then number 6 so this number 6 is another but the data type and size of the this salary column like that we added the study one column okay so if you want to modify for existing columns any data type uh, data type change or increase or decrease the uh, sizes okay so these things if you want to increase or decrease the data type or change uh, sorry increase and decrease the size and if you want to change the column then you have to use, use the modify command alter table table name modify salary so first we define as a number right later i am going to change the number type to worker okay so worker 2 of 10 okay if his data is available then we can't able to change the data type sorry that i'll show you okay so now we'll go for the just rename okay rename command how we are going to use the column rename i want to change the column rename okay alter table table name batch name rename you have to give the you have to specify the column keyword column what is the old one is the for example employee id i want to change employee id to employee number emp id to emp number okay like that i am going to change earlier will be employee id is there the column name will be what you can see here the employee id is there i want to change the employee id to employee code or employee number i want to change the column name <coughs> table batch name is altered okay now if you go and see the structure see guys now it's showing the emp number employee number it's showing earlier will be what is earlier employee id is there but i change the name in convention of the column column name okay so like that we have to use the rename if you want to change the column name co column naming convention by using the rename column alter table table name rename column employee id to employee number old name to new name okay if i want to delete some column name i want to delete for example i want to delete the location i want to delete the location remove the location column okay now i have to use the alter table table name table name here 9 batch 9 okay column sorry drop you have to use the drop drop column column name what is the column name i am going to give the location table batch 9 is altered now you go and see the batch 9 see only four columns are there for me only four columns are there earlier showing the five columns showing the location also location and then worker 2 of 
so this column now i removed from the batch 9 table okay i removed from the batch 9 table so now it not it's not showing the location column clear guys so this is the how to remove the so how to remove the batch 9 uh, any column particular column if you want to remove you have to use the alter table table name drop command drop column column name okay so now we discuss the create command we discussed how to create the table now we discuss the how to add the the new columns for existing table i want to add any new columns and i want to do any modifications on the table name so not table name any columns data types or sizes or i want to na naming convention change on the particular column okay or i want to remove the column for a table so these all are things we are going to do by using the alter command alter add alter modify alter rename alter drop clear guys total four commands we are going to discuss the we already discussed the four commands alter add alter modify alter rename alter drop okay clear any doubts here for alter command okay so now what are the other two commands so truncate drop rename truncate rename and drop another three commands are there okay so you can see here what are we yeah so the syntax is i'm going to write guys here alter table modify table name modify so what are the column column that is the data type and size like that you have to define the syntax for modify next alter sorry not this one alter table 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 name okay same alter table table name rename you have to define the column keyword here column old column to new column new column like that we have to define the rename if you want to drop means alter table table name drop column column name okay <coughs> these are the syntaxes okay so so we'll discuss these two will be in the later this this will discuss the two will be later first we'll discuss the rename so here the rename will be so you want to change the table name okay you want to change the table name so earlier what we did so particular column name we modified by using the alter rename we modified the table name sorry column name now you are going to change the table name also if you want to change the any table name then you have to use the rename command there it is rename for example batch 9 i'm going to change to mm, batch 09 okay instead of batch 9 i'm going to change the batch 09 We'll see what happened. This syntax correct or not? Table renamed. Now, if we describe this one, describe batch nine. What happened? See error because there is no batch nine table now. Okay, there is no batch nine table because of the we modified batch nine to batch zero nine. Correct. So that is the reason. Whenever you describe the batch nine. It won't be available. 
whenever we describe the batch 9 it won't be available because of the this batch 9 is no no longer exist in the server database okay if you give the describe batch 09 now you can see see it came the result this is the old name this is the new name this is the old name this is the new name so now it's showing the new name only there is no longer exist in the old name clear guys so this is the syntax of the rename old name to new name <coughs> this is the syntax for the change the car table name okay next and also this ddl commander ddl commands are the auto commit means you no need to save the this ddl commands automatically it is going to execute this command save going to save it the database permanently whenever you execute the ddl commands so what are the ddl commands create alter rename drop truncate these five commands are the ddl commands whenever we execute this ddl command it's automatically is going to save into the database permanently we can't roll back we can't undo okay we can't undo ddl commands okay so that is the reason while creating or while executing the any ddl command we have to be careful at the time of the execution okay for example you you renamed bh9 to batch 09 but now there is no batch 9 table there is no longer exist right you can't able to find again again you have to do batch 09 to batch 9 like that you have to do again one more one more time if you want batch 9 so that is the reason we can't roll back clear guys so ddl commands are the auto commit means automatically it's going to save while executing the commands so you no need to save explicitly you no need to go the save for example this is your <coughs> notepad if i close directly without saving then it won't be available what are the unsaved things it won't save right you have to give specific explicitly you have to the control s yes. you have to go file or save you have to give like this it won't save automatically this this notepad right but ddl commands are it will be exp no need to explicitly give the save automatically it is going to save auto commit we call it as auto commit okay clear guys so rename what is the syntax of the rename rename old table to old table name table name to new table name this is the syntax for the rename command okay rename old table name old table name to new table name okay so i am going to discuss later these two okay i am going to discuss later these two now i am going to start the dml commands dml commands so dml is the mother data manipulation so ddl is the data definition we are going to define the like we are going to defining the commands here tables here what are the tables we created here so we are going to manipulating that that data tables we are going to manipulating the data here means we are going to insert and update and delete so there are three commands are there insert update delete okay these three are the dml commands